Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Art Lab. Our lesson for today is going to be called Character Drawing. Let's start off with a question of, what is a character? A character is a fictional or imaginary person, animal, or object in your artwork that thinks and has a name. For example, comic book characters like Superman, cartoon characters like Spongebob, and movie characters like the Terminator. A character can be anything you can imagine. For example, it could be a person named Bob. It could be a sponge also named Bob. Or it could be a bent tin can. We can call him Fred. How do you go about making your own character, though? I could talk about anatomy and the human body and complex shapes, but let's start with something simple. Today, we'll start with a square to draw a character. You may or may not recognize this character. He's from a cartoon show that came around in the 90s and is still kind of popular today. That's right, this is Boy Genius Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Now, Dexter revolutionized the cartoon world because he was so simple. Because of how square he was, he was considered an icon. He was easily recognizable. These square characters became a trend and did not stop with Dexter. SpongeBob is another great example. And another one you may be familiar with is Pikachu from Pokemon. Here I'm adding his little feet and details. Here are some characters that I spent some time drawing earlier. We have Plankton from SpongeBob, and he's got a very simple oval shape, kind of like Dexter with his round shape. He's basically just an oval that they added an eye, a mouth, some arms, and antennas to. And if we look at some more complex characters over to the right, we have Naruto and we have Mario. And these characters are a lot more complicated because they're made up of a lot of shapes. For example, Naruto's headband is a nice rectangular shape that divides his head up. He has a ball of spiky hair that pokes out from above his headband. The rest of his face is kind of shaped like a home plate. He has a rectangular neck. And there are two ovals that make up the outside of his jacket. Mario is made with lots of circular shapes, his nose, his ears, and his eyes, as well as the underside of his mustache and his mouth, are all very round. Here I'm drawing the outline of Mario's head inside of his cap. You can see his head is also very round and his hat is very round, not pointy at all like Naruto is. Speaking of round characters, this is Steven Universe. And you can tell the artist that drew Steven has a very distinctive style because he likes to accentuate the roundness of every part of the body. Whether it's his hair, or his fist, his arms, his cheeks, everything about Steven is round. The corner of his jacket, even the stars on his shirt. His mouth, his nose, his ears, his hairstyle, round everywhere you look. So the shape of our character is important, but so is the face, because the face describes what's going on. Here's a chart that has some different emotions and how different parts of our face change in response to those emotions. 
For instance, if you're happy, your eyebrows will lift up, you'll smile, and your eyes will look bright. Whereas if you're angry, your eyebrows will point down, your eyes will look angry and menacing. Now let's start with a brand new shape that's never been used before. Here are a few different examples. You don't have to do one that looks just like these, but there's some ideas to get you started. I've got a shape here with some points, a square side, a round side, and another point. Here's a couple other shapes that are just kind of blob shapes. For my first piece, I'm going to start with this blob with these kind of two leg sort of shapes. I'll add a face, a smile, and some eyes. At this point, I've decided it's going to be an ice cream cone, so I added a cone pattern and some sprinkles, and I finished it with a crown and some shoes. That's my ice cream princess. For my next shape, I'm going to draw more of a big blob, and he looks kind of like a lava monster to me, so I'm going to give him some sad droopy eyes, I'm going to give him a sad smile, like his face is just melting off. And there he is, there is my lava monster. Last but not least, I'm going to draw a cloud shape. And, oh, maybe just a face poking out of the bushes there. Add some feet and some hands. It's the bush man. So, in conclusion, really, your character can be whatever you choose for it to be. It can be a person or an inanimate object. Really, it's up to you to decide. The important thing is that your character expresses itself through its eyes, through its mouth, or through its words. During our next class, we're going to use one of the characters that you create today and we're going to draw our own comic strip. So I'd like for you to take the rest of your resource time and draw two or three different characters so you have a few different ones ready to go. That's going to be all for our art class today, boys and girls. Thank you for watching, stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you back in the art lab next week.